Hi there guys, Bronco88 here coming at you with a look at the fake stereo remastered box set of the Beatles. In case you didn't know, before I actually received my kosher edition, I actually received this fake edition that I didn't have to send back, so I thought I'd actually show it off to you lot. The reason why I choose now is I actually search YouTube and it seems as if a few people have actually managed to buy the fake set and don't realise it's fake, which is a real shame. The very first thing you experience, shall we say, or notice when you get this is a very, very strong oily smell. That oily smell is kerosene. In very cheap ink production, they actually use kerosene to volumise and bulk out oil ink. So it smells really really oily and kerosene it's aircraft oil so there you go that apple is a lot darker than the actual apple and this is quite tacky it feels and this is very very dusty okay in fact there was actually flies stuck to it and to brush him off or it off before bringing it downstairs the other thing you'll notice this green is a lot more greener than the proper there you go look at the difference in that good green bad green okay that barcode is actually fake as well I remember scanning that with one of my scanners you can get on your many on your phone or add your iOS and it came up with a product completely different to what this is yeah so we're gonna get it out now and you may not better see this, but that is really bad. That that's just hmm. <laughs> it doesn't look good at all. It looks really, really bad. So I'm gonna open it up. It does have the magnetic clasp. Doesn't sound as quality as a proper release. Proper, yeah, one and straight away. In fact, Hard Days Night is probably the worst culprit out of all of this. That's one of the culprits, by the way is the ribbon used to bring up all of the albums broke that broke as well by the way but i sort of take that one back on they're all in completely the wrong order i kept them like that to show you at some point also every single one stink by the way every single one of the cds comes whoa with this black, black, with this plastic bag around them. The plastic bag stinks as well, but I'm not quite sure why. One thing I would like to show you, and it's very much present when you look at the Past Masters, the, the Binny Documentaries CD. I want to leave that there for you, for you to look at. If you wish to. It's totally up to you. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute, don't you worry, I'm still here. But one thing I'd like to point out, first of all, that's the actual release, and that's that. Secondly, the middle's actually filled in. There you notice, it's not, plus that's not properly glued, that is. Now for the disc comparison. yeah <laughs> this shocked my mum look at the comparison in the discs that looks absolutely beautiful mm. does it does it really that looks like a proper CD that you'd absolutely love to put in your DVD player that, oh CD is a DVD but anyway you know what I mean that yeah so we're going to put the proper one back we don't want it to be anywhere near this. Fake. Because <laughs> that, that's what it is, guys. It is a fake. I'm going to grab a hard day's night. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's the biggest culprit when it comes to this set. It's been a hard day's night. 
Right. That's a hard day's note proper. That's the disc. Parlo phone. Yep. And that's the book. The finishes on page twenty. Now, by the way, these problems are repeated across all of the discs. So I'm only going to show you Hard Day's Night to say this video being too long. This is the fake. First of all, that's not filled in. That's not properly glued. That's the disc. That disc isn't too bad and it is actually quite hard, although that's quite faded. And again, the bag, the unnecessary bag. That's not filled in. And the book. Yeah, I feel terrible. Oh. <laughs> Finishes. It's going to call me a liar. But this finishes on page 20 as well. Um, I thought it finished on the wrong page. Oh, there we go. Nope. Come on, don't call me a liar. I know there's pages in here repeated many times. Page 15. On. Okay, page 18. Page 17. Interesting. And then we then get to page 15 afterwards. Yeah, the books are actually in completely the wrong order. I.e. there's no quality control. Why is there no quality control? It's a fake. They don't care about quality control. They just care about whacking these out any which way they can to get money for them. How much do I pay for this? I've got my money back. Don't worry, guys. £90. Pound. That's mine zero. So if, these, if they're whacking these out pretty quickly, I'm 90 quid a piece. They're not doing too badly. I mean, people will quickly work out, hopefully, that these are fakes. But some people aren't working out their fakes. That's the problem. That's the crying shame of all this. People aren't working out that they're actually buying fakes. Now, I could do a really, really in-depth video of this, if you wish to see it. Because there are a lot of faults. A lot of the names are spelt wrong. A lot of the names are repeated several times. Some of the track names, I think, are wrong. So much wrong with this set. But hopefully what I've shown you so far, and what I've shown you on A Hard Day's Night, is repeated across nearly all of the albums in this set. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this bit educates you to the fake that this, 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 is, that this is. I actually like keeping this because I can show people the comparison between this and the proper set. Until next time guys, this is Blanket88, signing out.